The Fierce Yellow Pumpkin by Margaret Wise Brown. That doesn't look very yellow yet. That's still a green pumpkin. The Fierce Yellow Pumpkin. Look at the little mice. They're looking at that pumpkin. And what did the crow find? Keep watching. We're gonna come back to these ideas. There was once a small pumpkin in a great big field, a very small green pumpkin, the size of an apple. The fierce sun burned down on the little pumpkin and he grew and grew and pretty soon there was a fat little round little yellow little pumpkin in the great big field. Here it is. There are those mice again. Now, this fat little round little yellow little pumpkin grew so fat and full of himself that he began to think he was a very fierce vegetable, as fierce as the sun that warmed his fat round sides. Ho, 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 he would say. When I grow up, I will scare the field mice out of the field like the scarecrow does. The little pumpkin would dearly have loved to make a fierce, ferocious, gobble, gobble face like the scarecrow's at the far end of the field. But try as he would, his own pumpkin face stayed smooth and yellow and shining. And do those mice look very afraid of that pumpkin? <laughs> then one day the sun did not shine as hot as fire and blackbirds, skies full of blackbirds, began flying over the big field. There was a burning smell of leaves in the air and a crisp tingle that tickled the fat little pumpkin sides. There were so many birds in the sky that the scarecrow was busy from before daylight until after daylight, chasing the birds out of his field. Look how some of the birds are really big and some of them are really small. They just almost look like little specks and some are middle-sized. Do you know why? How close to you are the really big birds? They're close, they're in the foreground. And how about the little tiny birds? Where are they? They're far away. They're in the background. And these middle-sized birds, they're in the middle. They're in the middle ground. The artist can show us how many and how far away they are by changing their sizes. The scarecrow's gobble-gobble face became droopy and dreadful. The wind blew woo, through his hair. He lost one scarecrow eye. The old scarecrow knew if there is anything that a blackbird is scared of, it's a one-eyed scarecrow. Do you remember who had the button at the beginning of the book? But then... That night and the night after, something began to happen. The first cold frost came in the night and the fat little round little yellow little pumpkin woke up one morning and discovered that he was a fiery orange yellow pumpkin, the color of the sun, a fierce burning color. Then three little children came galloping through the big field past the one-eyed scarecrow. They ran right up to the fat little round little orange little pumpkin and one little girl called out, here he is, here's our terrible pumpkin. How come those kids are so much smaller than this scarecrow? Look, they're about half the size of his face. It's because they are far away in the background and the scarecrow is really close to us. So they cut the pumpkin's heavy stem with a little saw knife, each taking turns. They carried the pumpkin home across the field to their house. The little pumpkin like that. Okay, time to stop for a safety message. What do you know about how should you hold sharp things like scissors and knives if you're moving? Should you be holding them facing up or facing down? Facing down. And how fast should you go if you're carrying a sharp implement like scissors or a knife? Should you be running or walking? Walking. Don't be silly like this kid. Make sure if you're holding something 
sharp and pointy to hold it with the sharp part down and to walk so you can be safe. And this concludes our safety message. Back to our book. And then with the little saw knife, they hollowed him out all empty inside, sweet smelling and clean as a whistle. Then they cut one big round eye in the side of his face, a big round hole, and the little pumpkin liked that. Ho, ho, laughed the pumpkin, the fierce yellow pumpkin. I'm a one-eyed pumpkin for sure. Then they cut another big round hole in the other side of his face. Ho, ho, laughed the pumpkin, the fierce yellow pumpkin. I'm a fierce yellow pumpkin for sure. But that wasn't all. The children cut out a sharp shape in the, pumpkins for, in the pumpkin for a nose, the shape of a witch's hat. And that wasn't all either. They took the little saw knife and they sawed zigzag up and zigzag down until the pumpkin had a whole mouth full of sharp zigzag teeth. Then with a loud ho, 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 the little pumpkin laughed a dreadful zigzag laugh across his zigzag teeth. Ho, 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 he, 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 mice will run when they see me. He was certainly a fierce and ferocious pumpkin with a terrible, terrific face. After a while, it was night. There was black darkness all around, inky black darkness. The children came in with a lighted candle and stuck it inside the pumpkin so that the light shined, on, shined out his big round eyes and his triangle nose. And the light shined over his zigzag teeth. He was a horrible sight to see. Grrr in the dark. He grinned a zigzag grin there in the corner of the porch. Grrr. And there is that terrible, terrific, ferocious pumpkin face. And the children danced about him singing a song to the terrific, terrible pumpkin with the zigzag grin. You see them dancing? And the little pumpkin was fierce and happy and he sang, ho, 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 he, 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 mice will run when they see me. What do you think? Are the mice afraid of him now? Do they run or are they still friends? Let's find out. Oh! And they did. They are afraid of him and they are running. The Fierce Yellow Pumpkin by Margaret Wise Brown.